Buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. My nephew set this up for me, so if you just give me a I've gotta figure out how to record my voice into the computer. You've gotta get the microphone. It's, it's not high quality. The kids won't listen to you. Hello. My name is Dr. Phony Slouchy. I'm here today with news, very important news, about the coronavirus pandemic and the person behind it. I waited some time to come forward with this stuff. I'm sad to say that may have come at the cost of human lives, but I had to be absolutely sure that it was bulletproof. I did what I had to do. But finally, the time has come. I think many of us have long suspected that the circumstances surrounding this coronavirus is very suspect, okay? Many people fear there may have been foul play. The question has always just been who and why. But before I can explain who, I'm sad to say that I may never know why. I had always hoped that there were never men that would be like the man I'm about to talk about today whose hearts are so cold and dark and corrupt. But I know the vast majority of the population do their best every day to do some good. You know, you go, you help someone's dog. Uh, there's a dog there. You give him a pet. That's good. But despite my believing in the goodness of every person, I'm stumped on this one, guys. Let's go back to a simpler time. Okay, exactly one year ago today, October 23rd, 2019, there was objective and unbiased reporting that came out about a guy with an opinion. Now, the news has long dedicated itself to talking about men with their opinions, but this time it was different. This time it was personal. The unremarkable and formerly unemployed Ben Savage came out and told the world that baked goods can be understood in a hierarchical sense, okay? And that not only that, but if you fell outside of his rigid system of ranking sugary bread, that you were wrong and bad. And I must say, how could somebody sweep someone under the rug just because of something they said? That seems a little harsh to me. But we'll soon see that because of what he said, he's a cruel and terrible person. After the news broke, Ben was featured in a full-length feature film. Or so we thought. More on that later. But once the news stopped discussing him, nobody went to see the movie. Nobody was talking about the bread anymore. That's where things get interesting. The trailer for his movie dropped on the 29th of October in 2019. And 19 days later, the very first case of the coronavirus pandemic showed up in the Hubei province of China. Now you know why they call it COVID-19. So, so now the entire world is paying the price. And for what? Is it, is it because of the bread? Is it because of the movie? No. It's about attention. I submit that Benjamin Grant Savage developed and distributed SARS-CoV-2 as a bioweapon so that more people would talk to him. Number one, it's obvious that he has benefited from this virus. We all know that Ben does best when he's alone without any of his friends to talk to. And not only has his entire industry collapsed because of the disease, but he was no longer able to afford his expensive lease when this first started. You know, someone really ought to say that they'd live with him in a cheaper apartment and then back out at the final second. That would be hilarious. Okay, but let's, but let's look at the disease itself, right? Among the other flu-like symptoms, there is this unique characteristic where you are unable to smell or taste. Now, this has Ben's fingerprints all over it because by removing other people's sense of taste, he can make them more like himself. So, 
we know that he has the motive. But does he have the means? Simply put, no. Moving right along. What's up with this movie? We know that he distributed the trailer on his personal Twitter account on October 29th. But since then, radio silence. And it's not just that nobody went to see it. I checked Wikipedia, I checked IMDb, there's nothing there. So to me, that raises some very important questions. What about the bread? Because if it was about the bread, don't you think he would have made the movie? Or matter of fact, why tweet about it at all? Why not just have the opinion and just keep that to yourself? Or if it mattered so much to you, why didn't you go ahead and make your movie? The thing is, this entire charade is not about banana bread. It's about making people pay attention to you. Why go to all this trouble? Why write scripts? Why set up cameras and lights and and costumes? It all seems a little much to me. Speaking of a little much, I recognize that this might seem like another dreary piece of news. I know we all sit there, we scroll at the end of the day. And it's very depressing, but I'm here to tell you there's good news too, okay? Because the most exciting thing I found out is going to change the world. In a classic, perfect moment of being a Disney cartoon villain, the very thing that led Ben to be such an evil person in the first place is going to be his downfall. Because you see, according to Ben, banana bread's not worth eating. So he didn't check to check whether or not banana bread is going to cure the coronavirus. But it does. It does. I've been doing this research for months, and I'm not the only one finding this. There's, uh, according to bananas.com, inventory changes daily. Check back often. Not only that, but up to 48-month financing available on all Builders Edition guitars. And most importantly, join today and get 5% back. So, Ben, it's clear that the science supports me. You are going to pay for your tweet in 2019, and more importantly, everything that has happened since October 2019 is your fault. Eat banana bread. Most people will, because it's good, and it's popular, and it cures coronavirus. Thank <laughs> you.